You've heard the hype about the James Webb Space Telescope, but while the headlines moved on, JWST has quietly been rewriting the laws of astrophysics. Today, we're diving into five shocking discoveries that scientists never saw coming, and they might just change everything we know about the universe. Since its launch, JWST has completed thousands of observations, probing ancient galaxies, distant exoplanets, and cosmic mysteries once beyond our reach. And now it's returning data that challenges everything from dark matter models to the age of the universe itself. Let's begin with the first discovery. Each new discovery is more fascinating and intriguing than the one before it. For decades, the standard view, shaped largely by the Lambda CDM cosmological model, was that the early universe was filled with small, chaotic galaxies that gradually merged and evolved over billions of years. These galaxies were thought to be the building blocks of the massive structured galaxies we see today. But James Webb is turning that picture on its head. The telescope has discovered ancient galaxies that are not only much larger than expected, but also surprisingly luminous and chemically enriched. These characteristics suggest that star formation in the early universe was far more rapid and efficient than our existing models can explain. In other words, the timelines we've long relied on may be wrong, or at the very least, incomplete. This has major implications. Scientists are now questioning whether the processes we thought governed galaxy formation, like hierarchical merging and slow accretion, were really dominant in those early epochs. Could there have been unknown forces or initial conditions influencing galaxy growth? Was the structure of the early universe more mature than our models allow? JWST is pushing us to rethink the fundamentals, and that raises a bigger question. If our models about galaxy formation are off, what other pillars of modern cosmology might need re-examination? Think this discovery is intriguing? Just wait. What's coming will blow your mind. James Webb Space Telescope is offering tantalizing clues that water worlds, planets entirely covered in oceans, might be far more common than previously assumed. While we haven't directly imaged a global ocean yet, the evidence is starting to mount. By analyzing the atmospheres of certain exoplanets, James Webb has detected unusually strong signatures of water vapor. What's striking isn't just the presence of water, but the absence of other elements typically associated with rocky or gas giant planets, such as methane, ammonia, or silicate-derived compounds. This peculiar combination suggests we're not looking at standard terrestrial or gas planets. Instead, we may be seeing worlds that are dominated by water, either in the form of thick vapor clouds or potentially global oceans covering the surface. These findings challenge parts of the core accretion model, which predicts that water-rich planets should be relatively rare in certain zones of planetary systems. Instead, JWST is showing us that sub-Neptune-sized exoplanets with high water content might be more common than expected, reshaping our theories about where and how these worlds form. Naturally, this raises profound questions. What would life look like on a planet without land? Could life even emerge and evolve in an environment completely dominated by oceans, without the geochemical diversity that land masses provide? JWST isn't answering those questions outright, but it is giving us the data that will help guide future missions and models. And in doing so, it's expanding our imagination of what habitable worlds might actually look like. You'll want to stick around for the upcoming discoveries. Trust me, you'll understand why when we get there. James Webb has detected complex organic molecules, the building blocks of life, in the hearts of distant star-forming regions. These aren't just simple compounds like water vapor or carbon dioxide. James Webb is uncovering signatures of far more complex organics, including polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and other carbon-based molecules that are considered precursors to amino acids, the essential components of proteins and DNA. Their presence in young stellar nurseries suggests that these ingredients for life aren't rare or isolated, but might actually be widespread across the universe. This finding builds on predictions from astrochemical models like those developed by Ewain van Dyshuk and others, which propose that complex chemistry can begin in cold interstellar clouds long before planets even form. 
What James Webb is doing is turning those theoretical predictions into observational evidence. If these life-forming molecules are commonly found in the material from which planets are born, it raises a profound question. Could life itself be more common than we've imagined? The James Webb Space Telescope is offering an unprecedented glimpse into the hearts of the earliest and most distant supermassive black holes, known as quasars. And what it's uncovering is nothing short of remarkable. Through its deep space observations, James Webb is shedding light on how these ancient black holes significantly influence the formation and evolution of their host galaxies. Contrary to earlier assumptions that black holes might simply devour matter and inhibit star formation, the data reveals that many of these early quasars are embedded in environments rich with star formation and dynamic galactic activity. In fact, observations indicate that these black holes are not only consuming matter, but also contributing to the birth of stars and shaping the surrounding galactic structure. This suggests a highly interactive and codependent relationship between black hole growth and galaxy development. These insights strongly support the framework of coevolution, a concept central to the M-sigma relation, which links the mass of a supermassive black hole to the velocity dispersion of stars in a galaxy's bulge. This relationship, first outlined in studies like those by Gebhardt et al. and Ferraris and Merritt in year 2000, suggests that black holes and galaxies grow in tandem, influencing each other over cosmic time. James Webb's findings are thus reinforcing the idea that black holes are not passive bystanders, but rather active participants in galactic evolution, shaping the cosmos in profound ways. The James Webb Space Telescope is revealing that cosmic dust, tiny grains of solid matter, plays a far more pivotal role in the universe than previously understood. Its observations indicate that earlier models may have significantly underestimated the abundance and impact of dust in cosmic processes. Dust does more than just obscure our view. It absorbs and re-emits starlight, which invisible wavelengths can block our ability to see distant celestial objects. However, James Webb's powerful infrared capabilities allow it to peer through these dense dust clouds, unveiling structures and phenomena that were once hidden from view. Importantly, James Webb is also demonstrating that dust is not merely a visual obstacle, it is a fundamental building block of the cosmos. These microscopic particles serve as the scaffolding for star and planet formation. They provide surfaces for molecules to form and act as condensation nuclei around which gas accumulates, eventually leading to the birth of stars, planetary systems, and possibly even life-bearing environments. These insights reinforce models such as the interstellar medium ISEM theory, and specifically the core accretion model of planet formation, which emphasizes the role of dust grains in the early stages of protoplanetary disk evolution. The observations also align with discussions in works such as Physics of the Interstellar and Intergalactic Medium by Bruce T. Drain, which outlines how dust affects everything from radiative transfer to the chemical evolution of galaxies. In light of James Webb's data, it is becoming increasingly clear that dust is not a secondary actor, but rather a central element in the architecture of the universe. So, what do these discoveries really mean? James Webb isn't just snapping beautiful pictures, it's rewriting our understanding of the universe. From spotting galaxies older than we thought possible, to detecting potential signs of life-supporting atmospheres, we're watching the edge of science unfold in real time. And the best part? This is just the beginning. Webb still has years of fuel, more upgrades coming, and entire parts of the sky left unexplored. If you found any of these discoveries mind-blowing, or if you're just excited about where space science is heading, hit that like button and share your favorite finding in the comments. And if you want more deep space updates like this one, make sure to subscribe, because we've only just scratched the surface of what's out there. And if you like this video, you might want to watch this one also.